So, I'm gonna go and check this out. It is 8.16 in the morning, so I'm already a little late, but I'm gonna go ahead and tear it down and head over that direction. And it's over at the UAF, of course, so... <laughs> I guess they're closing their showers over there didn't keep me away after all. Oh well. Uh, let's check tire status real quick. See if I can go on what I filled up last night or if it's gonna make me have to completely refill. Ew. It looks nasty out there. <laughs> and my bathrobe is frozen to the window. Nice. Uh, not what I expected. Oh, well, it's 26 degrees. I guess that'll explain that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Tear down. Uh, I have my shoes on. I need to get my shoes on. Because I'm probably going to have to put the pump out there and let it do its thing while I get torn down. All that fun stuff. Arr. And I can't see what I'm doing. Because of all this stuff. Alright. Unlocked. Uh, you'll actually make it. <laughs> Forget it, I ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> anyway, you need to shut down. I have a lot of email that I will have to check later. Yeah, 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 check it all you want. Better yet, don't. You're just gonna waste my time. Vlog 152 is rendered. <laughs> 1 1.1 1 gigabytes. And we'll memory hibernate. In the meantime, let's continue. <laughs> eh, we got a little bit of snow accumulation. Not too much. And a lot of foggage. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. I got a little piece of fuzz hanging off of my blanket. Okay, this has got to come down. I got to put you down. You can go over here for the moment. <clears throat> go you, falling all over the place. Well, anyway, now all I got to do is unplug and I'm ready to go. <laughs> and I'm getting tired of that track. So anyway, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll be opening up the market. We still have volunteers uh, taking materials that folks are dropping off and placing them at the different tables in different sections that are labeled on the white placards. And that's, um, when you do come in, when we, in 10 minutes when we have the lines open up, I do want to caution that it's a little bit slippery because I guess what, it's a little bit cold outside. <laughs> and uh, so some of the snow is melting and it's a little bit slick, so we want to make sure you don't trip and slip and fall. And um, when we do open up, there'll be some boxes in the middle if you want to pick some boxes. Once you find some things to take, if you have bags in your car, you might want to go get a bag. And that um, how this works is that people have been donating goods from their household and dropping it off, the volunteers here in the red vest and green vest, and then putting it at the different tables. And you're welcome to, once we open up, uh, go ahead and um, select anything you'd like to take. It's all free. And again, we'll be opening up in just, uh, just under 10 minutes. This is simply amazing. <laughs> I don't think other parts of the country could benefit from something like this. Does anywhere else in the world do this kind of thing? Or is it just Fairbanks? <laughs> I honestly wonder. Well, let's see what I can get into. <laughs> what I don't need to get into. 
And uh, I got some pretzels for them in case uh, they're hungry. Oh, pretty good. Oh, yeah, I got some pretzels. Maybe about five minutes and be ready to go. All the people just looking to get some free stuff. <laughs> Can't I blame them? No, because I'm in doing that too. Less than five minutes to open. It's just a little busy here. <laughs> Everyone coming out for all this free stuff. It is currently 1023, I've picked up everything I'm gonna get out of this place. Which wasn't a whole lot, but it was good enough for me. <laughs> and it was free, which made it all worthwhile. It's snowing again. I don't believe it. <laughs> it is starting to snow on this little get together. Okay, so my little pickup here involves some rather not so interesting stuff and then you see this sucker Philbon DF50 this tripod is freaking awesome okay <laughs> and I picked it up here got the little removable head on it and everything but that's not all the head swivels it does that whole deal of course it twists and yeah wrong way here I am tightening it instead of loosening it and of course the head comes up and I'm pretty sure this is a pretty darn a pretty darn tall tripod actually I'm gonna see if I can extend it fully right now yeah <laughs> this is one long tripod Head down at one end, but down at the other. This is awesome. <laughs> this is a score right here. Free, absolutely and completely free. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. It reminds me of my dad's tripod, but I think this one's even better. <laughs> So yeah, uh, aside from that, I got this little Canon flatbed scanner, USB powered LED, not sure if it works, but if it doesn't, then it can just go right back where it came from, <laughs> given away, <laughs> trash or something or other, a uh, random audio cable, battery for my other laptop, which I barely use, not even sure the battery's good, but it's worth a shot. We'll see what happens with that when I get back to Texas, because uh, those laptops are in Texas. <clears throat> I have a thing for blank audio cassettes. <laughs> and some of you may remember that blue LED router I always had sitting on a speaker in my room in Anchorage. This router is an identical model and I think identical version. WRT54GSV 2.1. I think mine is a 2.1 as well. And if that's the case, then this sucker's got the maximum amount of memory, internal memory and space that Lynx has had for the GS series. And that's awesome. Because <laughs> I can put the DDWRT Mega on it, like mine has. And that's awesome. Because I like the D DWRT software. But this one has the green LEDs, so I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> if I really want them to be blue LEDs. Or I can just leave this one green and leave the other one blue. And differentiate between the two of them. But yeah. 
that and random CD case. Yeah, hardcover, fun stuff. Little um, SCSI card. Not really useful anymore, but eh, why not? I'm a keeper of old computer junk. <laughs> and this, something else I will most likely never use, but felt like grabbing anyway. <laughs> Little plug to two big plugs. How am I ever going to use that? And a little Mac display port to 15-pin VGA adapter. Something else I will probably never use because I don't have a Mac. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, this is one pretty darn neat little thing they do here. And apparently they do it every year. So, yeah. They, they could really do stuff like this in other places around the U.S. and probably keep the landfills a little less full, you know? And help others out in the meantime. Because this is awesome. I mean, all this free stuff. Oh, uh, obviously if it works it'd be better, but yeah, it's awesome anyway. Because otherwise this stuff would have cost you something. You pick it up at a thrift store, but you're not going to get it for free. I mean... This is cool. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here, my laptop, I'm connected to UAF's Wi-Fi, and plugged into their little power post. <laughs> I am such a system moocher. I love it though, it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get going here. I got a couple more minutes to wait. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually see if I can test this um, scanner real quick because I do have a USB cable that I can use on it in my laptop bag. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Actually, right this second. You can sit here. Hi, what am I gonna do with this tripod? Ship it down or stick it in my bag? I don't know yet. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see if my computer even has the software to run this thing right out of the box. Windows 7 has some pretty amazing driver directories or driver support. So we'll see what happens with this thing. If it even detects it properly. to work. Okay, let's try the other port then. There it is. Cano scan. No driver found. <laughs> okay, well I can look that up and download the driver. Yeah, this is pretty darn neat. Well, the discovery is it works, and it works well. It has the ability to scan up to 1200 DPI, and I've scanned this. Look at that quality! I mean, that is really, really good, considering what it was printing, or scanning rather, is a gigantic stack of receipts. <laughs> the quality on this thing is just, look at that, like a blown up version of that. And it looks good. <laughs> 1200 DPI scanner. I scored big time on this sucker. Yeah. My USB cable, which actually goes to my OBD2 scanner. Yeah, that little thing, which this truck doesn't even have. This truck runs OBD1. So go figure, this thing is completely useless for me. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. 
And the next thing I'm going to test is this Linux's router to see what it's all about. See if I have to do a full reset on it or if they did that for me. Like they should have. <laughs> yeah, if it even works. So yeah, awesome stuff, man. And it's like 12.11. They're shutting down. Pretty much everything was gone in the first 45 minutes anyway, so <laughs> yeah. After I uh, test this router, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to eat, and it's going to be good. And I'm going to edit this video, and it's going to be posted, <laughs> or something like that. I think I said that right, actually, for once. And I broke another friggin' push pin. Gar! This thing here just likes the brake push pins. Or rather, my push pins just like the brake. So that's all I've got left. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do? I'm not going to do a darn thing, okay? That's it. I'm going to go now. And after I test this router, I might mention it. I might not. I guess you'll just get to see later. Okay, so I admit I don't really know what I fully expect to get out of this, but I just want to take a video of me shifting. <laughs> of me just driving, I guess. Okay. This truck can be really annoying at times, I tell you what. Occasionally I skip shifts. <laughs> I've gotten so used to this thing I know where I can go with it and not bog out the engine completely. It's been really nice. It's really, really windy. And right now, I'm going to look at what the temperature is. Without running into the embankment, preferably. It is 107 p.m. and 29 degrees. I think people used to steer like that normally? <clears throat> with no power steering? Ugh. No thank you, I'm happy with my power steering. Taco Bell! Ah. 